Oh, there we go. Hey guys, Kitty Book Corner. Coming to you with a whole new angle because I'm doing something that I've been dreading doing, but I know it has to be done. And that is reorganizing my bookcases. So, as you can see, here we have my one Billy, my one Billy bookcase, my second tall Billy bookcase, and then I have the medium one, which you're actually um, you're perched on because I don't own a bigger tripod. Uh, but uh, I am in the process of reorganizing all all three of my bookcases, which is fun because at this point I'm just. At this point, I'm just removing all of my books off the bookcases, and then the fun part is where I want everything to go. It's kind of been a mix for the bookcases, like, um, I've had random books and then I have specific shelves for my favorite books, like I have a, I have a whole shelf of Cassandra Clare books, I have a shelf that's all Sarah J Moss, I have a whole Rick Ryan shelf. So yeah. I am in the process of taking all the books off the bookcases. Um, I'm going to, and I just wanted to, to do the introduction to this video, which is this. Um, I'm going to shut the camera off for a little while, um, and I'll turn you guys back on when I'm starting the whole process of putting all the books onto the bookcase, because I don't think you guys would like to see me take the books off the bookcases and put them, the, put them into the giant pile of books that they're currently in and they're not by book character they're all random all stacked upon each other um also i'm currently listening to monster x's latest mini album and i don't want to get copyrighted uh so yeah i'm going to continue taking the books off the bookshelf minus my tbr pile of books i've already read from the month of august because i don't want to mess that pile up but yes that is the process and I will see you guys sooner or later. Bye! Hi guys, I'm back. And it's time to put my books back on the shelf. Uh, so I'm actually starting with this bookshelf right here. Um, let me place the camera in a better location. Um, so it's my middle size shelf that's not as big as the taller billies. Um, and this is the bookcase that I usually have my adult books. Minus the Sarah J Moss and the Leigh Bardugo books, those ha will go on the Leigh Bardugo and Sarah J Moss shelves. Um, but I am now going to start putting the books on. Um, I'll show you which books. So the first book I'm putting on is Anna Karenina, and it's going on the bottom shelf, which a lot of my like classics will go on the bottom shelf. And then I have Pride and Prejudice, and then I have um, then I have the Lord of the then I have the Lord of the Rings trilogy. And I have The Hobbit, and it's the, the Hobbit is the uh, Ruby edition, um, which I recently, for, I recently, like about a year ago, I finally read the Lord of the Rings trilogy and I read The Hobbit because I have never, I had never read it before. And I, and I am a huge fan of the movies. And so I kind of wanted to actually finally read the books and I absolutely enjoyed the books. I then have one of the many Bronte sisters with Jane Eyre. Then uh, I have Sense and Sensibility. I think I'm going to put Jane Austen together. Um, I then have Persuasion by Jane Austen. I then have Withering Heights by Emily Bronte, and this is a beautiful Bards and Noble edition, special edition. She'll go next to her sister. At the end, and then I have 
Alice's Adventures in Wonderland and uh, Through the Looking Glass. I haven't read Through the Looking Glass yet, but I did read Alice's Adventures in Wonderland. Um, then I have William Shakespeare's Midsummer's Night Dream. Um, and then I have Good Omens by Neil Gaiman Terry Pratchett, which will go on my fantasy tissue shelf, which is the top shelf. Um, I then have Red, White, and Royal Blue, which is a nice, like, contemporary, um, I then have the Seven and a Half Deaths of Evelyn Hardcastle, which is actually a fantasy, and I just recently read it, and I actually enjoyed it. Um, then... We have Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jack and Reads. I read this last summer and I absolutely enjoy it. So I'll do Daisy Jones first. And then I'll do Red, Red, and Roller Blue. Um, and then I have A Discovery of Witches and A Shadow of the Night, which is part of, um, of the All Souls trilogy. Um, I have to get the third book and I still have to read the third book. Um, but I've enjoyed the first two books. I haven't watched the show yet. I plan to. Um, and then I have a na The Name of the Wind and The Wise Man's Fear of uh, by Patrick Walfuss. And I've actually enjoyed these two books and they were both recommended to me um, by my friend Ben. Um, so. And then I have monstrosity that I actually adored and that is The Priory of an Orange Tree by uh, Samantha Shannon. I absolutely enjoyed this book when I read it. And then I have I then have The Poppy War by all praying this book there's a lot of trigger warnings with this book, and I absolutely loved it when I first read it. And I read *The Dragon Republic*, which I have the ebook version of it, but I want to buy the paperback edition for it because I have the paperback edition of *Poppy War*. Or I will buy both both these versions in hardcover, so that way when the third book comes out, I have a matching set. I'll probably do both. Um, but I absolutely enjoyed the Poppy War. Um, and I also have V. E. Schwab's A Darker Shade of Magic. I have to re I have to reread this book. I definitely want to reread this book before I continue on with the series because I read this such a while ago. I kind of just want to like I just want to reread. Um and then I have the Outlander series. Um I I fell in love with the TV show, as bad as that is. So, how I started with Outlander, my mom read it years ago, and then Stars created the TV show for it. I'm like, oh, this is interesting. Maybe I should watch it. Um, I watched the shows and then I realized it's also a book series. I'm like, oh my god, let me read the books. So I got up to, one, I got to up to book five of the series, and then I just, for some reason, I stopped. Um, which is okay; it happens. Um, and so I have to, I kind of want to, and I have to finish collecting the books, um, because I have the. The mass paperback editions of the book, so I might want to buy the bigger ones, so that they look more beautiful. Um, but I kind of want to go back and start with the the first. I listened to the first book on audio, but I might want to pick up the first book at physical and see how that goes. So I have actually finished. I finished the first shelf of reorganizing. So this is how my fantasy shelf looks like. This is like adult, adult romance. And then my classics. So it's very interesting and very 
exciting. And now, now I'm going to the two bookcases behind me. So I'm gonna break this, the filming up a little bit. I don't know what section. I kind of want to work on my Lee Bardugo shelf. That's just because I pulled up the ninth house, which I actually enjoyed by Lee Bardugo. Ah, uh, let's see. I think I'll put her. This could be her shelf. And I think Leigh Bardugo is actually going to share share herself with like maybe one or two more authors in their series. Because Leigh Bardugo doesn't, she has a lot of books, but not too much to fill up the whole shelf. Wait. <laughs> she has the Smoke and Bone trilogy, which is Shadow and Bone to Siege and Storm to... Ruin and Rising. Um, like I kind of liked this um, Smoke and Bones, Shadow and Bones trilogy, but like, eh. I did enjoy the Six of Crows duology, and then I did enjoy um, the King of Scars. And I know the next book comes out sometime in 2021, which is exciting. Oh, I like that. Because I have Ninth House, and then I have the, the Shadow and Bone trilogy, which I actually have in paperback, while the Six of Crows and King of Scars I have in paperback, in hardcover. And I actually like how that looks. Yay! Uh, let's see. Hmm. I think I'm gonna work on my Sarah G. Moss. Sarah G. Moss. So. And these are not all <laughs> Throne of Glass books since I'm missing Airfire. Airfire is right over there, which is my finished TBR pile. Um. <laughs> like stubbed it myself. Oh. So I'm in the middle of doing a reread of the Throne of Glass series. Um, because Miss being in the world of Sarah J. Moss because I read um, I read Crescent City earlier in the summer. I actually read it twice and I just loved being back in that world. That like let me do a reread of the TOG but also the Akatar series. Um I actually like how I placed um throw a glass. I put them like this, which is nice. I like it. Um, so as we all know, um, A Court of Silver Flames comes out in January, which is book four in the Akatar series. Um, and I realized that all of my Akatar series books are all paperback, which I'm like, no, because it won't match A Court of Silver and Flames which is all, is obviously going to be in hardcover. I had the same problem with TOG when Kingdom of Ash came out. I'm like, I didn't want to wait until it came out in paperback. So I bought the hardcover. And I'm going to have a shelf where I have duplicate copies of a book. If I have one that matches, that will go in that set. So with Akatar, I decided, okay, I'm going to buy the first three books in hardcover so that way I'll... Um, I'll, when I get the hardback copy of Court of Silver Flames, it'll match. Um, so obviously, this is my paperback edition of Court of Thorns and Roses. Mouse Twister, and this is Act of War. Um, and then I decided to, I'm going to obviously buy, um, 
the whole series over again, but in hardcover edition. And so I was at Barnes and Noble the other weekend, and I saw the a collector's edition for A Court of Thorns and Roses, um, which is in hardback, which I like. And this cover is beautiful, and it has stunning prints. I love it, and this is going to be my hardback edition for Akawar, Akatar, not Akawar, Akatar. So, all I need now is A Court of Mist and Fury and Akawar to complete my hardback editions of Court of Thorns and Roses. Um, my Sarah J. Moss shelf is looking perfect. All it's missing is Crescent City, which I will have all, how many books are in that series? I'll have it all in hardback because I bought that when it first came out uh, and intended to read it, read it and I ended up not reading it until summer but let me tell you it works um, I know that I have to buy the other two the first book and the second book and Ember and the Ashes series in hardcover so it matches a reprint in the gates and then the fourth book which I think I'm going to put next to uh, Lady Bardugo. Which I have. Have an Ember and Lashes, a Torch Against the Night, and a Reaper at the Gates. And let me tell you, Sabir Tahir wants to freaking destroy us. Ah! Th that, I loved. I love the books and been patiently waiting for the fourth book which comes out in December which I'm super duper excited which gives you like three months to get the two more hard hardcovers that I need but also it gives me three months to read the first three books over again so I'm going to do a reread of uh, Umber and the Ashes which is kind of what I'm doing with um, the Aquatar series is making way for the fourth book. I can't believe I'm already at seven minutes yet. This is gonna be a long video. <laughs> and you hear me talk about the books. Uh, let's see. I'm working on the one that's closest to my light. I have the Stalking Jack the Ripper series by Kay Manticola. She has Wicked Kingdom coming in October. I'm super excited. She's a really great author. I went to her book setting for um, Escaping Houdini. Oh, and so all I have to do is I have to buy Just Stalking Jack the Ripper in hardcover. Because that's the one I don't have in hardcover. I have everything else in hardcover. Um... It's like I kind of started a cart on my person noble. <laughs> like, it has all the hardcover editions for Aqu the Aquatar series for like A Quarter of Weeks of Ruin, A Quarter of Mist and Fury, A Quarter of Frost and Starlight. And then I have Stock and Jack the Ripper. And then I have Blood and Honey. And I have the Elder Cro Scrolls book two, The Lost Book of the White. Um, that, that. Um,. I then have the Thunderhead trilogy by Neil Schusterman, which I enjoy. I obviously I have Thunderhead and Scythe. Um, Scythe is the only one I have in paperback, so I have to get that in hardcover. Um, put that there. But I'm an avid reader. <laughs> I didn't realize how many books I really truly owned until I had to take them all off my bookshelves to film this. <laughs> so I'm like, holy crap. That's a lot of books. Uh, but I'm actually pretty much enjoying this and you hearing me talk. Ah. Uh, I'm actually doing a reread of the Mortal Instruments series. Like, well, all the Shadowhunter books I'm doing a reread of slash listening to um, because I physically read them but now I wanted to listen to the audiobooks so I made it up to City of Lost Souls um, in the audiobook form but then Scribd 
It's like, eh, hey, City of Heavenly Files won't be available until September 1st. I'm like, bleh. So I'm pushing that back until September to finish. Uh, I then have our sorcerers, thorns, which is I actually really enjoyed. Um, I think I'm gonna stop here and then move you again because we're moving people. Moving. I'm back again. Ugh. There you. And funny enough. You can see my K-pop shelves, which I already need another shelf for it, but, uh, the next books I have are Rainbow Owl books. I have Carry On, uh, Wayward Son, and then I have Fangirl, um, which I actually really enjoyed. Uh, book two of, of... Wait, wait, Simon Snow series I was like, eh, I like book one better. Um, so on the bottom shelf. Um, and then I have uh, my foot's itchy. I have the Red Queen series. So I have the first two books, which is Red Queen and Glass Sword in paperback and then I have the last two in hard, hardcover and with this series I'm okay with not having the complete set matching each other Warstorm so there hmm and like another. <laughs> That's just my foot's itchy. I'm just gonna have my. I don't wanna put another completed set. Okay. And think on the shelf before I go to the next one, I have the Charlotte Home series by Benny Cavallero. So I have. A Study in Charlotte, The Last of August, Case for Jamie, and A Question of Holmes. I've actually pretty much enjoyed this series. It was such a beautiful series, and it's about the great 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 granddaughter of um, Sherlock Holmes and the grandson of Watson. And it was a really good series. I liked it. Again, I have. A study in Charlotte and heart paperback, but I might buy the hardback of it. We'll see. And then I have Kendara Blake's uh, Three Dark Crowns. I actually have to reread this book because I read it so fast, I don't remember much of it. And I don't have to complete set, so. I then have another series um, by Lisa Maxwell, which is The Last Magician and The Devil's Sleep. I know the third book's coming out sometime soon. Um, mix match set with that, but I'm okay with that. I actually got The Devil's Thief actually from Book Outlet. Not sponsored. I have um, another series. It's a duology by Lindsay Cummings and Sasha Aldsberg. Called um, it is the Andromeda Saga, and it's really good. I enjoyed both books. I enjoyed it. I actually went to the signing for Nexus, which is the sequel. Um, and I actually, I think this is it. It is my si autograph signed Nexus book. And they're both so down the earth and I really enjoyed meeting them. And then I have 
the Truly Devious series, which is not over. There's going to be another book, which is ah! So this, I, so I Truly Devious have the Vanishing Stair, and then I have Hands on the Wall, um, which I've enjoyed, and I listened to like. I re I've read the series, but I also listened to the audiobooks that I really enjoyed the audiobooks for. And then I have two out of the. I know. I think the. Uh, so I have the Children of Blood and Bone, and I have the Children of Ven Virtue and Vengeance by Toriyami. Tori I'm sorry, I pronounced the name wrong. I absolutely really enjoyed these first. Enjoyed these two books. I actually listened to the audiobook for this one. And then I bought the book and I enjoyed it. And I actually w bought this book and read it in a day just because I could not put it down. Uh, so I'm very thankful that it could be another book in the series. My pile is getting smaller. It's there, there we go. There we go. There we go. Um, but I think I'm gonna um, pause again so I can move, also to save some battery on the camera. Hello, back again. I took a little break. My friend and I talked for a little bit because he FaceTimed me because he wanted to know about BTS and BTS music. So that gave me a break from this, which occasionally you'll need when it comes to bookshelves. I'm just kidding. Some places you can't reach as high as you would like. So, you have a tiny step stool that you've used since college, and you still have. It works! Uh, trying to see. Uh, I'm gonna take my three out of the four Lunar Chronicles books, place them on the same shelf as I did of uh, Truly Devious. Supernova, which is another Marissa Meyer series, down there, which I still have to continue. And then I have two books by Cinder Williams Chima. I have Flamecaster and The Demon King from the Seven Realms series and the Shattered Realms series, um, which I want to collect all four books. Thankfully, they're all in paperback. So they'll be e easier to collect that way. I'm gonna next do my Rick Ryden shelf. And so I have the Here's Olympus series. Ah, I dropped it. Cool. <laughs> I dropped the house of Hades. It's <laughs> like, don't do this to me. And then I have the Mark of Athena. I have the Son of Neptune. And I have the Lost Hero. I actually had um, the hard copy, the hardcover edition for. Um, the House of Hades and the Son of Neptune, but then I decided to buy it because the rest of the books I had were paperback, so I ended up buying the other books in paperback form. I then have my Trials of Apollo series. The next book's actually coming out soon, which I'm excited for. So I Actually, the only book I have to get in hardcover would be the first book, which I have in paperback. My Barnes & Noble books list is going high. 
Um, I then have the Max Chase series. I have two books, one and two paperback. I have book three in hardcover. So my plan is to actually get the other two in hardcover so I can have, again, the magic set, which includes the, trial, the Hidden Oracle, which is book one in the Trials of Apollo. Some space there for when book five comes out, which I have to put into my book bullet journal. I did it first. Yeah, I'm gonna put Crazy Vacations books one and two on the adult shelf. And then I have two books, which happens to be How to Hang a Witch and um, Haunting in the Deep is a really good book series by Adriana Mather. She's actually a descendant of a Salem witch, which I find is awesome, which I put on the top shelf. I then have a trilogy by Leslie Livingston, Chase about a kid, a Gaelic um, gladiator fighting her way through each room. Again, going on top shelf. Sorry that you see half my face. Um, and I, t I like to decorate my shelves. So I'm decorating it with, I have two copies of BTS's Map of the Soul 7. So I'm putting a version up on the shelf. Start working on my Cassandra Clare shelf. We have the Dark Artifice series, which I actually enjoyed. Um, because I decided to wait until after I finished the Mortal Instruments series to read them. Lord of Shadows, I finished in a day, and it made me cry my eyes out, which is like it doesn't happen as often. But when it does, it happens. Um, which is, I have all three. I have Lady Midnight, Lord of Shadows, Queen of Egg, and Dark Darkness. Then you saw me add Chain of Cold, which I'll have all hard copy, hard backs of. Well, the rest of the series I have are paper black, paperbacks. Um, I also have the Red Skulls of Magic, which is part book one of the Elders, Eldest Curse, um, which book two comes out tomorrow. It's also my first order of a lot of money for, to Barnes and Noble. I then have the novellas. So I have Bane Chronicles to the Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy. To Ghosts of the Shadow Market. <sighs> Which I have a mixture of hardcovers and paperback. That's fine with the novella series. Um, here they are. So, all five Percy Jackson books, all three King Chronicles. good. I finally found where 
the Percy Jackson series was. So I have some of my Lady Jane. So I have the Le My Lady Jane and my Plain Jane. I have the Book Thief and then the Gentleman's Guide Device for a Jew, which I enjoyed and absolutely loved. The third book comes out soon. I'm excited for that. And I actually just finished my Calamity Jane today. Uh, then I have Again But Better by Christina Riccio and The Once and Future by Capetta and McCarthy, which is on a different take of King Arthur. Um, I then have My Lovely War, The Gilded Wolves, The Strange and Beautiful of Sorrows of Ava Lavender and Revolution by Jennifer Donnelly. And these are more books that are going up here. Uh, then I have The Heat You Give by Andrew Thomas, Love and Gelato and Love and Luck by Jenna Evans Walsh, which are good. It's like contemporary love stories that take place in different countries. I then have The Babysitter's Coven by Katie Williams. And then I have Strange Dreamer and Muse the Numbers by Lainey Taylor. They're really good books. Definitely recommend them. I enjoyed them. I then have Illuminae by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. I listened to the audiobooks for the last two books and I loved them. This Physically reading this book was kind of hard. Um, I then have um, A Curse So Dark and Lonely and A Heart So Fierce and Broken. Um, which is a Beauty of the Beast retelling. I absolutely enjoyed it. Third book comes out in 2021. And then I have the the, inter, if, the infernal devices and the modal instruments. I'm trying a new way of stop, st stacking them. Ooh, yes, I like that. Because pic the pictures on this one should be sideways, but I like how it looks compared to this side. And then I have the Caraval series and the uh, um, Curled Vince, Wicked King, um, Queen of Nothing. And I have to say, I have to buy the hardcover of Carol Bell, but my, my, um, my fairy loot edition of Finale is beautiful. And then I have...
the cruel thing to Saka. Um, I'm finally getting to the end of the books. I'm gonna start and we. Hello. Um, we're actually getting to um the very end of the reorganization of my shelves. So my bottom shelf is actually going to be a shelf for another author, and that is Brandon Sanderson. He has a lot of fantasy like adult and young adult so for his young adult I have Skyward and I have Star Sight which are two really good books I enjoyed and then he has Mistborn which is book one on his one of his series I don't know I don't know the Mistborn series I don't know how many books are in this series. I think there's at least six. And they're all in paperback. So. So the whole bottom shelf is for Brandon Sanderson. Um, I then have all six books in the Shadow Me series. And yes, I have three books in paperback and then I have the other Three, the last three books in the series in hardcover. Did I want it that way? No. Did it happen that way? Yes. Am I okay, am I okay with it? Yes. Um, uh, it happens, uh, but the series, she originally was gonna write just a trilogy. Um, and then after the third book, she just decided to continue on with the series. Um, and I have a love-hate relationship. Like, the first three books in the series were really good, and I really enjoyed them. And then the last book I liked. Um, Restore Me and Defy Me were, like, it for me. Um... But Imagine Me, which is the last book in the series, it it was a good ending to the trilogy that we thought should have been. A lot of people have mixed thoughts on the Shadow Me series, but they're really good. Um, and this series is one I don't mind that I have different like the volumes for it. Um, so yeah, I, I'm putting that there. In the last two books I actually have, I have, is gonna be the Twilight Saga. So I have, I currently own Twilight, New Moon, and Eclipse. I just have to buy Breaking Dawn, and then I have to buy Midnight Sun. Hoy. Um, but yeah, I have to say, I finally finished. Um, I, I will take a shot of the whole bookcases, but I finally finished. I have no more books on my floor, which is good. Um, I think I'm actually going to finish re uh, continue reading Vicious Spirits, which is my current read at the moment. This is going to be a long video of me organizing and just showing you the books because I don't have a tripod so I can show you the full shots. But I hope you enjoyed. And I'll see you guys in my reading vlog. Bye. Okay. So these are the books shelves. These are the first three. So we have mis my miscellaneous shelf right there. My Rick Ryan shelf. My Cassandra Clare shelf. Another random shelf with different series. Another series. Then my Brandon Sanderson that only has like currently three books. <laughs> And then we have my extra copies of book, like my extra Queen of Air Darkness finale, Kingdom of Ash, a manga, and then we have fantasy series, so we have a number in the Ashes series, we have the Lay Bardugo, Lay, Bardugo, Lay Bardugo books, then we have my Sarah J Moss shelf, 
and then another shelf of finished books. Um, so the series are finished. Then another miscellaneous shelf. And then another miscellaneous shelf. And then over here, we have my TBR pile of books I finished or and are currently reading. And then fantasy, romance, and then classics. So that is my book tour, my bookshelf. Well, I finished reorganizing my bookshelves and they look so good! Woohoo! I'm now gonna go pick up Vicious Fox. Vicious, uh, not Vic Vicious Spirits. I almost said Vicious Fox. It was the same author. It's okay. Bye, guys.